my line of work, uh, I was telling a colleague here, um, in my poor Kisomali, Ilba Idile. You know, on a serious note, it's very heartbreaking. An entire geographical space, an entire political space known as Northeastern, is in a desperate humanitarian situation. Why? Because we don't have a road. Really, really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. For those of you who are in leadership, there will be a day you'll be asked this question. And that question will not come from us. Many years ago, I asked my father, for those of you who don't know my father, he was a career teacher, why he decided to become a teacher. So he put down a summary and said, when they finish school, the luxury of choices was just a luxury. We had to do something that was mandatory at that point in time, which was get as many teachers as possible to be available to teach the students in Northeastern, and then the generation following them will have an opportunity of doing many more other choices in terms of learning. But all of you know what happened after that. Uh, I don't think that plan has really worked out. So there were very good teachers. Some of them already passed away, others alive. I was seeing Malim uh, Ibrahim Wood here. But right now, we're in a period when we're exercising huge choices in education. Our kids have options of going to any university. In fact, the number of Somalis in the universities now walk into any university, huge numbers. But it never translates to impact on development. Why? The role of a scholar, like Abdinur, is supposed to be problematizing issues, okay? But unfortunately, we're living in a society where problematizing is seen as being problematic, okay? And it's not a semantic issue. Until we give space to people to ask questions, to raise critical issues, to put people together to think and find a solution, we will be here the same way we were 60 years ago. See, in my line of work, uh, I was telling a colleague here, um, in my poor Kisomali, Ilba Idile. You know, on a serious note, it's very heartbreaking. An entire geographical space, an entire political space known as Northeastern, is in a desperate humanitarian situation. Why? Because we don't have a road. Really, really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. For those of you who are in leadership, there will be a day you'll be asked this question. And that question will not come from us. Okay? That question will not come from us. So, even as we celebrate you, Abdinur, when you gave me the opportunity to stand here, you knew I was going to say something problematic. Right? Elayek Absada. Those of you are in leadership. Your people are suffering. And I am an eyewitness to that suffering because that is my primary job, to witness suffering. If you can't do anything about what is going on in Northeastern now, please give it to the space to the people who can do something about it, like Abdenur. And I see, I'm lucky because I worked with Abdenur. When I finished undergraduate and I joined Kenya Red Cross, Mohamed Abdenur was head of disaster management. So about everything I know about disaster management, I primarily learned from him. So it's quite an honor. But this gentleman is going to be a teacher in three ways. He was a teacher, an actual teacher. He taught students. He's now a teacher in the other level. Uh, we have this problem in Kenya of equating PhD with professor. So we will call him professor so he can teach the universities. But the most important teaching he can have for us is his experience, his knowledge. And that knowledge and that experience is something Northeastern needs today as it will need tomorrow. So please give him the space. Shukran. Thank you very much. And congratulations, Abdinur.